All right, all right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, victims of all ages. What's up, motherfuckers? Wishing y'all gracious good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it may be for you, wherever in the world you may be. Thank you guys for hanging out with me for a couple minutes today. You know, man, look, we're going to kick this off. We're going to get fucked up. We're going to roll up some weed. We're going to make fun of some coughs and some fucking retards because that's what we know. Let me ask you guys this question. This one's particular. I don't know. I guess it could go to both men and women. But let me ask you guys. Let me ask you fellas something. Have you ever... Have you ever had to play it off like cool when you was in the middle of getting a fucking blowjob and the, and the fucking kid wakes up and comes running in the room and wants to know what his mom's doing and you're just like, you don't even fucking know how to act. You don't want to make that face like you was about to just let that motherfucker go, right? So you're like... That's another reason why I fucking hate kids anyway, but... Anyway, look, check this, check this out, right? I don't know if you guys realize this. Now check this out. I don't know if you realize this or not, but at some point, your dad went out to hook up with some fucking whores and some hoes, and he met your mom. I mean... <sighs> some of you are fucking crazy. Some of you have... Some of you have higher standards for restaurants than you do for baby daddies. Seriously, some of you, some of your fucking baby daddies are fucking using the cologne out of magazine page twenty-seven and rubbing it on their neck and shit like the fuck. Poor little titty tink, man. <laughs> Here's another interesting fact. This one fits my wife to a T, right? I didn't think she'd fall into this category, but listen, check this out, right? 80% of married women can't fall asleep after sex because they still have to drive home. I found out that was my wife's problem, too. I... <laughs> and, 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 and here's another question. What? How would you feel, right? Okay, Phyllis, how would you feel if you pulled her panties down, but you smelled the fucking hand soap from your bathroom? Uh, what do you do? What do you do? Oh, God. What do you fucking do? <laughs> oh, man. But I'm telling you, there is nothing like licking a woman's fucking C-section scar and saying, out a girl, my little Ziploc bag. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was talking to a girl one time. She was like, after an orgasm, I like to kiss and I like to cuddle and then fall asleep in each other's arms. And she said, what do you like to do? I said, usually, bitch, I delete my browsing history and throw the tissues away. <laughs> you guys are important, cared for, valuable, and unbelievably... Oh, by the way, just, just, okay. So, I don't know if you know this or not. I'm just going to say this. If you have grandparents who had plastic over all of their couches, and chairs, and all that shit. If you come from that generation, the reason why is because your grandma was a squirter. <laughs> anyway, you guys are cared for, important, valuable, definitely fucking appreciated. I got three videos for you guys today. The first one comes from Copper Jack TV. I like this guy's channel, man. He, I like this guy's channel. He got a lot of cool shit. Listen. What would you guys... Do? Okay, picture this. Imagine this. Imagine you tried registering your gun and your house was raided because it was considered an assault rifle. ARs are not assault rifles. I'm sorry to tell you that. You fucking douchebag. Second video comes from Jay Ramirez. Arrested for fucking walking in the street. Listen, let me ask you guys something. What in America, what in the United States is not an arrestable offense? Can somebody fucking tell me, can somebody tell me what in America, what code, what violation, what fucking statute, what fucking ordinance, what is not an arrestable offense? Everything is fucking arrestable, man. It's Third video comes from Charlie Mac. Uh, how do you get how do you get a disorderly conduct charge simply for demanding that the fucking scumbag police take action? How do you? Oh, poor little tank tank. Oh man, that fucking sucks. Anyway, 
You guys know what time it is. Roll them up, twist them up, spark it up, fucking shoot it up, crush it up, blow coke up strippers' assholes, make sure you're sharing needles and spreading AIDS around and all that other shit that, you know, whatever. Pour your fucking drinks, put a little weed in the air. Let's fucking get right into it, man. First one again, like I said, is Copper Jacket TV, man. Oh, this is so stupid, guys. Tell me what you would have done. Let's go. Um, I'm not, no, I'm not going to say anything. You guys can do what you want to do. And what, um, I don't give consent for search or seizure or no, anything. No, no, we have a search warrant, so I'm not asking for your consent. Okay, I don't want to talk. We're not talking at all. So, do what you're going to do. All right, do me a favor. Step over here. Step over here. Oh, so you're so going to go gonna inside gonna, without me? With, without me? They're going to knock on the door. They're going to knock on the door. Oh, okay. Door, oh, okay. Just for our safety. We don't okay. know if you called it before. We don't know. Yeah, I could so, see that. Okay. So, it's just for our safety okay. reasons. So, I'm going to explain to you what's going on. So, yeah. you have an idea what's going on. All right? I already know what's going on. I don't even need to hear it. I don't even want to hear it. Okay. I don't even want to hear it, man. But it's what nothing. We're, what we're going to tell it's you nothing, is, if the gun is, a it's not. I don't. I don't want to hear. It. It's nothing okay. personal. Oh. You guys are doing your job, but I'm just telling you, if it's illegal, compliant. okay. We would like to. Yeah. If that can be the help. Hi. What's up? No, we're not going to be helping you at all. I've already explained that multiple times. All I ask is you respect that my four little kids are here. Okay. I'm not. Gonna, we're not going to be assisting at all. You guys can do your thing. Okay. We're not, but we're not consenting to search or seizure. Okay. okay. End of story. No, I understand that. And okay. Not, and if you, if you, and I, I be, remember you're on video. So why, is, why are my daughters? That's great. I'm glad. Why are my daughters not with my wife right now? Because your wife came down to open the door. Okay. So she can she go back up now? Hey, you guys can go up there. I'm just letting you know. Okay. I've, I'm, yes, I said I'm going to sit down three times. I provided. I was walking towards the chair. So. Okay, I already said I'm not going to say anything. You guys have what you're going to do. I'm letting you know we do have the search warrant. As okay. you can see, it's right in front of you. Okay. I don't consent to any search Part of the search warrant is search of any place where the gun okay. can be at. Okay? So that could be any crevice, any box, okay. anywhere. Instead of us going digging through everything, okay. if you can direct us to exactly where it is. We're just looking for this one one firearm. That's it. We're not looking for anything else. We're not looking for... Hi! This and that. Okay, I'm going to call my uh, lawyer... Uh, no, I know, I know. I, I'll do respect. I support law enforcement, but. The What we're, we're going to try to inspect. It is not a assault weapon, so we're going to leave it. We're going to forward, or you're going to, your application is going to be approved. You understand? I'm not saying anything. Okay. So we're going to leave this here. We're going to see a copy of the um, property receipt, or sorry, of the um, search warrant, and we're done. All right? You have any other questions? Okay. 
Do you have any questions? I'm not talking. Well, he's trying to give you an opportunity because if you build that wrong, you're going to be in trouble. So I, I know you probably know the law. I got. A, I was just talking to a lawyer. Okay, sir. I appreciate law enforcement, but okay. please uh, just. So we're just trying to help you out here and make sure you're in compliance with it. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. No, I'm saying for you, they look just like you. Okay. I accept your apology. Okay, so let's go ahead and break down what we just watched there. So law enforcement shows up searching for that elusive assault weapon, right? That thing that doesn't really exist, but they like to call it some type of scary name so that it seems like it's more dangerous than it is. So they show up, they have a warrant, which means they don't have to ask your permission to go in the house. They're going to go in the house, even if you tell them not to. You don't have to consent to anything. They're going to do it. So they show up with a search warrant, but the guy still says, look, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to talk to you guys. I don't consent to a search. Just, you know, you guys do what you have to do and leave me out of it, which is perfect, right? That That's perfect. That's what you should say. I'm not going to say shit. I don't want to say anything. I don't need to speak to you guys. Do what you need to do. Okay, execute your search warrant, but you're not getting any help from me. And I love how the police are always like, you know, can you just tell us where it is? Can you just show us? We're here to help. We're trying to help you. I mean, nothing is more frightening when the government shows than when the government shows up and says, we're here to help. I mean, when, when they show up and say, we're here to help, that's when you know things are not good, right? So he says, just, you know, go ahead and do what you got to do. I'm not going to help you in any way. So they do. They go ahead and they, they commence their search. And what do they find? They find nothing but a, a, a almost completed lower and a buffer tube. I mean, that's, that's pretty much it, right? So obviously that doesn't fit any of the criteria that they're looking for in the state of California because even if it was just the upper and the lower separated, it's not complete. So if it's not complete, then it's not what they think it is. And so they can't hold this guy for anything. And so he sees it. They show it to him. They say, hey, we're going to go ahead and let your application process go through. Oh, thank you, dear overlord. I really do appreciate that. I mean, give me a break. So 
I mean, I don't know about you guys, but when's the last time you saw law enforcement serve a search warrant just because simply somebody was applying to do things the right way? Uh, I believe this guy moved from Texas, so he might have already had some stuff, but thankfully he kept things apart and separate, and he had the grip off and stuff like that. And so when they found it, it wasn't in the configuration that he would have gotten in trouble for. But nonetheless, it was the way that they tried to go about doing things. And you know it's all about that whole just, you know, we're just following orders thing, right? They never apologized for upsetting the family. They never, uh, you know, tried to make things right. They're just there. They, they act like they're robots. They do, you know, their job. They do their duty. And then once it's over and there's nothing to be found, then they just have a nice day, and they just walk out, you know, after screwing up your entire day, because I guarantee you that was a really stressful situation for him, especially if he's not somebody who grew up or was raised with the way that California has been. A lot of us know how California is. We just expect it. But if you grew, if you grew up somewhere else in a free state, and then you come, and all of a sudden the police are knocking at your door, welcome to California. You know, that, that can be a really stressful situation. But like he said, he talked to his lawyer. Again, that's perfect. I know that not everybody has access to a lawyer right off the bat, but if you don't have access to a lawyer, at least just keep your damn mouth shut. Don't say anything, but be polite and then wait for them to leave because that's probably going to help you the most. You cannot not say anything to the police that they won't use against you. They'll use everything. They'll search. They'll, they'll do everything they can to try and make you expose yourself. So the best thing you can do is stay quiet, but stay polite. As long as you're polite and you just kind of stay out of it, they don't have anything else to add to their report. You don't want to help them with their report either. So again, I feel that this guy did pretty much everything right. He just kind of stayed back, make sure that, you know, he made sure that his family was okay, made sure that the kids were okay, and that, you know, none of that stuff was being messed with, which is, you know, again, great. Uh, but he just kind of held back. And then when they found what they found, uh, wasn't what they were looking for, so they left. And that's probably the best way that he can handle it, and his lawyer's aware of it now, so uh, they can handle things afterwards, but just trying to comply with the law can get you in trouble, and that proves it right there. All, right, all he did was file an application, and guess what? California is knocking at your door, and so this can happen in other states. Illinois right now is a, a really big one. They're having people register. They're going to have people register that bought things after the time that they were supposed to have gotten them, and then register them, which is almost like committing a crime in itself, so these raids and these warrants can be issued and, and can be uh, uh, done just about anywhere. So any state that has any type of law like this, you're almost guaranteed to see these things happen. And so it's best to know how to respond and how to handle them when they show up. So I wanted to share that with you. Hopefully it was, hopefully it was an informative video that you guys can maybe take something from. Even though it's a couple years old, it's still very relevant. So I want to thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like, subscribe. Have a great day. Yes, I'm talking. Yes. Well, he's saying he arrested her for walking on the street and then not identifying, not giving the, her identification because she was on the street when there's a sidewalk. Mm -hmm. Where where did you get? Where did she get stopped at? Where's the sidewalk? Besides here. Where am I? Where's the sidewalk? Where, where am I? At? So what is your question? Why is she getting arrested for walking on the street? Okay. Well, one, I just got here, so I don't know. Well, I'm asking. I'm. I, he said because she was walking in the street. No, nope, I said because she failed to identify. She would not give me her name. Okay, so you're saying the law that she broke because she was walking on the street and not a sidewalk. So that gives you justification stop to stop her to identify her. This is not yeah. a stop. This is no. This is not a stop in ID state, bro. Yeah. Well, you are right. So right now, if I asked you for your ID, you could say no. She exactly. Have that option because she's being lawfully stopped. Lawfully detained for walking in the street. You couldn't ask Correct. her to walk on the sidewalk. I could, but she was being, like I told you. She so you want to be a dickhead no. and arrest Are her? Are you done? Are you done? No, I'm. Trying to make a cool video. A cool video? No, this yeah. is our rights, man. Yeah. You don't believe in American rights? Oh yeah. yeah. Are you done? Is there anything else? Hey. What? Have a good day. What? He told you to get on the sidewalk. So you told him to get on the sidewalk. Is that what he said? He said, get on the sidewalk. So well, she's going to get arrested for walking on the street? Are you serious? Well, I'm asking you. You're his buddy, right? I want a supervisor present, please. Please. I want you to call. What is your name and badge number, sir? 
34 is your badge number? I want a supervisor. Can you call a supervisor? Please? Are you going to do that now? Is that a lawful order? Yeah. Because what's going to happen to me if I don't back away from the car? Does that make you feel comfortable now? Are you safe now? Can I get a supervisor? Can I get a supervisor? This is absurd. This is absurd. And there's blood. I, look, I know how it, I know how it goes. This that's my son. Listen, hold on. Let me let me speak. I've, I've given y'all y'all chance to speak, and I'm peacefully speaking right now. And this is being videotaped. I know how this works. If I assault somebody and there is a mark, then that person has an opportunity to file a battery affidavit. I want to press charges for what's going on with my son, and I want something done now. You haven't even talked. You haven't you haven't tried to get the hold of the kid's parents to see if you can talk to this other child or anything. So I want something done about this, or, oh, well, or right, but they but they can still, but they can still say that with their parent presence. You know what I'm saying? They can still talk. You can still talk to this girl, his his parents or whatever. But I know that one thing that my son is a black child. He is a he's a mixed child, and I feel like ain't nothing getting done now. And you're not pressing the issue because of this. I don't know what is going on, but it's not the right thing. And I'm telling you that I'm going to protest in this street, and I got some people waiting right now. I'm going to protest with about 15, 20 people right here all day, every single day until something's done about my son. His mouth is busted and bleeding. You took the pictures, so you've seen it. So please, I want you to talk to the kid. I want to file a battery affidavit, and I want to press charges, plain and simple. I have a right to do that. My cousin is Aaron Watson. I already done been on the phone with him. He knows what's going on. I got plenty of people that's going to back me on this. I got plenty of people that's going to back me on this. You don't want to do this today. You do not want to do this. I'm not going to deal with racism no more. I'm not going to continue to let y'all do this. I'm not going to continue to let y'all do this, man. Bernie said that she broke protocol. She never called me and told me to cut yourself. Why didn't she tell me that inside there? Why? That, that makes common sense, you guys. She didn't tell me nothing when I went in there. She didn't even deny that she hit him in the mouth. Nothing. Did you inspect the toy that he, that she said that he fell on? When we say something about did you, the Did you inspect the toy that she said that he fell on? If, I'm not finished talking to you over here. This is about my child, so I have a right to be in okay, present the whole time. I'm gonna tell you, okay. okay. It's about my son. Let me finish. I'm not in nothing, nothing. It's about my son. You're causing chaos. I am not. I'm being peaceful. I am being peaceful. I am being peaceful, and I am on the birth certificate. I have the right to know anything about my son, and I am not gonna leave. Don't go for it, Shelly. You don't go for it. We won't leave. Okay, well, do that then. This is my son, so you can address me too when, when it comes to do with my son. Shelly. Shelly, listen to me. Shelly Marie Rowlett. Excuse me, Shelly, excuse me, excuse me, Shelly. Will you listen to me, please? Will you listen to me, please? I am on the birth certificate, so he has to address me also. So if he does not address me, I would like you to walk away and force him to address me. I'm not playing this game, man. This is my son, and I'm going, the right thing is going to be done. Don't worry, it'll be posted on Facebook. You're not addressing me when it has to do with my son, and I'm the black Mr. father Cosby, of this child. Are you able to listen, Mr. Cosby, as of right now, this is disorderly conduct. No, it's not. I'm peaceful. I'm you're peaceful. To come out I'm of their peaceful. Home well, I will stand right here. However, this conduct. this officer is not addressing me about my son, and I am the I am the African American father of this child who is on the birth certificate. He is only speaking to the mother of this baby. He is only speaking to the mother of my son. I want this to be recorded. So when I blast them on Facebook, that I, they know everybody knows that I'm right. He just threatened me with disorderly conduct when the camera can clearly say different that everything that I'm speaking is factual. He's not addressing me about my child.
This is crazy. He won't talk to the black parent about his son. He will not. This is Officer Daniels. Z. Daniels with Hanover PD will not talk to the black, black parent of this child. Mr. Cosby, as of right now, I cannot even hear your wife tell me what happened. Please stop. I'm videoing. I'm in the right. So you take me to jail. Do what you got to do. Take me to jail. Do what you got to do. The camera sees it. But you're being racist, dude. You're being racist. I'm his. I'm his father. You need to be speaking with me. Shelly, walk away so he has to talk to me. Okay. What do you mean? I was here when she came. I was here. I was here. What do you mean? I was here. I came with her. There, he's he lied on camera. He lied. He's on camera. He lied and said that I was not here. This is crazy. Camera got it all though. know how you think the black community is going to feel about this. It's cool though. I feel very disrespected as a black father right now. I feel very disrespected. Birdie Blossom's daycare assaulted my child and I'm not even being able to speak on my son's behalf because of this racist officer, Z. Daniels, who happened to profile me the other day and lie and say that I had a license before and I've never had a license a day in my life. So this is the same officer that I'm going to file the same complaint. I'm going to file another complaint against and this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. He won't even address me about my own son, who I am on. Hooty who? Hooty. <laughs> what are you guys thinking, man? How do you? What, what, what are you thinking? What, what are you guys thinking? Have you guys seen the videos before? Are you familiar with the channels? Tell me, man. What, what's good with you guys? If you have made it this far, you've made it all the way to the end. Very special thank you to the channels I highlighted today. That was Copper Jack TV, Jay Ramirez, and Charlie Mack. If you guys are unfamiliar with these channels. Make sure uh, you guys check out the description. I always leave the original links there. I do that so you guys can click on them, head on over, let these motherfuckers know we love them, we appreciate them, we support them, and we got their fucking back over here. There's no doubt about that. Uh, be sure to check us out on the Us vs. MPGH Facebook group. My motherfucking main man, Chris, will keep you guys entertained with shit that you do not see on this channel all day long. That all being said, guys, you are important, cared for, valuable, and unbelievably appreciated, especially to me. If no one has told you guys yet today, just know that I love you. Stay safe, guys. God bless. And I will see you in the morning. Cheers, guys. Stay safe. Cause these are my people. This is my life. This is what we pray for